last times we had North Andover Central Catholic in first singles, the North Andover team came out on top, but the rest of the matches, Central Catholic was shining, and they t ultimately took the win 4-1. And as we have two missed first serves from North Andover, that really gives Central Catholic the ability to put pressure on those returns if the first serve percentage doesn't pick up. And a great shot on net from Lu Luke Ramos of North Andover. Now we'll give him his first point of the match, 15-30. That one clips the net and goes in. And if you don't know the rule, if it clips the net or it touches it of any sort and then lands in the box uh, in, and then that will be a redo of that serve. But if it hits the net and lands out, you'll lose that serve. That one looks like it's going to be long, so North Andover will be leveling it up to 30 all. Good first serve. We'll, be, we'll give Luke Ramos the advantage on that one, but just unable to convert on that one. From my angle, that one kind of looked in on that ball, but not really my call to make on that one. opportunity to finish that one off on that lob, on that overhead. But he doesn't get it done and Central Catholic still stays in that point. And that error will give Central Catholic I think the first game. Or oh, maybe not. I think it might be Deuce now. Yeah, it's Deuce. A great drop shot by Central Catholic, much like the drop shot of Carlos Alcaraz, professional tour. But Luke is able to hand that, handle that one easily. He'll get the point ultimately on that one. Add in. Oh. Good shot by Lou Gramos, right on the line. Way to go, Luke. Looks like Central Catholic had that one in their grasp, but they let that one go. One love, North Andover.
and serve will be serve will be a bit long. Second serve. Oh, and that one he just misses on that one. He's in that little one hand swing on that one compared to his normal two hander. That one will cause the error and it'll be fifteen love. That one clips the net, and that one will be landing out, so it'll be a second serve. Oh, and a double fault on that one will get North End for the first for turn point one this match. 15 all. And great job by both players, by Central Catholic is just bringing North Andover to the net, which is really one of the specialties of North Andover, and, and able to close that one off easily. And it'll be 15-30, a vulnerable spot for Central Catholic. A great serve will set up that point. And Southern Shore Catholic really has great advantage on that one with that first serve really going in. Also great net play by Central Catholic. Really able just to put it right over the net, but not into the net. Oh, and that one's a frame shot. From Lugrama was trying to come in on that one, just didn't time that one well enough. And chance for, once a chance for North Andover to get a break, Let's but now it's a, it's a chance for Central Catholic to get their first game of the match. That one just didn't have enough pace on that one. That one I would have suggested him hit that one down the line. So he really didn't need to focus on that one given its power, but go, didn't really do that. And that looks like that's gonna be the cause for that game. Uh, one's 15-30 and then three straight points would give Central Catholic their first game. One all. And that say will be catching back of the line. But in that area, already having two back end errors from this match, that is what really counted as an unforced error. And that one's also gonna be out, two out balls. I'll bring it back to 15 all. Oh, and a good serve, and then that's also going to be a frame shot from Central Catholic. And I'll give North Andover that easy point just to breeze by. 30-15. On that one from Luke Ramos, I would have suggested him hit more of a flatter shot of the return from Central Catholic. That would have been a great chance to take advantage of that point 
put into his own hands. Thirty all. And that one's gonna be a flame shot. I think he'll take this one to juice. No, I think that's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna Good be job, out of. Go, oh, 30 40, I think, actually. takes advantage of that backhand from Luke Ramos. Still, Luke coming up with that passing shot to give him that point. Great passing shot. That one just clipping the top of the tee. Oh, and that one here produced that costly double throw. Then that's going to give a break point chance for Central Catholic. Oh, and that one's floating out. It's going to be game. And let's see how we think the team is doing with some of the junior varsity players. How do you think it, the team's success rate is this season? Um, pretty 50-50. Okay, that's good. How do you think your team's chances are of making the playoffs this season, seeing how you guys made the playoffs last season? I think pretty high this year. All right. Thank you guys for spending your time helping North Andrew Cam get some interviews. And hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Good shot, Matt. Did you make a pop shot? Oh, and a good serve, and also a great return from Luke. That one, Central Catholic was just pulling it across the body and leads it a bit too far out. Left 15. That one just out. Central Catholic calling that one out. That one might have been a bit debatable. But still Central Catholic's call. Call is going to be 15 all. Oh, and a great out wide serve there. And that one's just going to be using the pace a bit too much on that one. That one's going to be be wide out. 30-15. Oh, and great network by North Anderson. 
great job from Central Catholic. Really trying to come to the net and trying to close it off with these points. Short and easy. But still, just not getting that one on that point. It's going to be 30 all. Maybe a chance for North Andover to get their break back. That one's going to be wide out. Way to go, Tanae. shot from the North and that one straight at, at the net and he closes that one off with his big wingspan. Oh, and that one, I think that maybe a little much judgment from Central Catholic. Because North End was kind of sliding into the tee of it. That would have been a great go, opportunity man. to pull off that out wide three. But on North End was notes, that's going to be a great, great break. I'm sorry, seeing how they're going to get their break that they just lost back to all. been a great serve if that one landed in, but just why? Oh, and that one, that one hits the middle of the throw, but that one is still able to get that one on to the other side, but Sancho Catholic just puts that one away. Right into the body, he nearly gets that one back over, but just hits the mouth again. A little unfortunate. Oh, and that one's just a bit of a mistake by North Hand over that one. I feel like he should have gone more cross core on that one. That one, he just didn't close out on that one. That shot at the net's kind of being a bit more predictable now, seeing how he's done that tons of times, and now Central Catholic's able to predict that and go right over there. Oh, and that one just clips the net. It's going to be another point to North Andover. I'm not sure if that's game yet or what, but... Closing out that net really good, able to keep the ball down low. And harder for Central Catholic to reach these balls that North Andover's gotten slowly better, but still better at keeping these balls down low. Oh, and that one, North Andover moving 
Central Catholic around by one short ball, helping Central Catholic to the net, and a great strategy by Luke, who is really keeping that overhead out of reach, so he's falling back. It's hard to hit those types of overheads. <coughs> that one's just a bit wide. He was there, but that one, he just didn't hit that one with the strings. He kind of hit it with his frame. That one will be a point to Central Catholic. And he's already lost his hat two times this whole entire match. And not even done with the first set. He needs some sandpaper on there. And that one's going to be a bit out, but it's for North Andover. Not getting enough first serves in. And with these second serves, on most players, they're easier to attack. And on that one, it's too simple for Central Catholic. But Central Catholic just puts that one a bit long. Oh, and a great return there from Central Catholic. That will bring him right to the net and able to close off that point very quickly. Oh, and that one's going to be out another error from Central Catholic. That one also was set up by the second serve. I wonder what his first serve, percent first serve percentage is for Luke. But I might be able to get that for maybe one of the last games of the season. Oh, and that one, again, a very short return. First time Central Catholic hit one of those, that one, very short return, his glue gone off balance, and really not able to get his slice functioning off of that one. Oh, on that one, he kind of floats that one a bit, which gives Central Catholic the time to wait and hit it at the exact right moment, which is able to generate that a great amount of power just to get it done, but not too much to hit that one out. It's going to be break point chance for Central Catholic. Oh, and missing that first save on this break point. Oh, and great one at the net from North End. Hits only two shots at the net and is able to finish that point off. Great job. Hey, Luke Ramos. At the net. Oh, and there's another first serve that's been missed. Really crucial for today's game. That one's just gonna be a bit long. And these.
thing too, how much he's been half to, been having to hit is really coming up and being a major factor in the score of this game. Not able to make any easy returns coming from Central Catholic on his first serve. Oh, and that one cast, catches the outer edge of that line, but he's not able to do anything off of that. Looks like it's gonna be 3-2, Central Catholic. Now we're going to have another JV interview, and this one was going to be starring Yash. And how do you think your team's success rate has been this season, seeing how last year you guys made the playoff? I'm going to have to agree with Lucas on this one and say it's pretty 50-50 right now. Great response. And how do you think the chances are if you have to give a percent of making the playoffs this year, seeing how you guys haven't started the season off too good? If I had to give a... a a percent, I'd say maybe around 80. Oh, if I may interject, I think depending on today, the outcome of today's match, that will sway the uh, yeah, yeah, percentage. I see. Has you guys think this one's a crucial matchup? That one seems like a great idea. They lost last time, and if they have a will manage to win today, then that's going to mean they improve significant a significant portion since the last matchup. Thank you for taking your time to have me interview you and your contributions are to North Andover Camera. Of course. No problem. Fifteen all. And on some of these points, I feel like not that any of these players are really doing it around him. Is they use of an effective drop shot. Because when the opponent is in the green and you're in the blue, that's a really great opportunity to hit the drop shot. Because even if they get it, they're not going to be in a position if you hit a very hard hit ball back. 30-15. Oh, and that one, he had the right idea on that one. And that one just was one too much. Many rotations on that one, and that one will bring it down just in time to hit that top of the tape. Doesn't go over. 40-15. Oh, and that one I don't think should have been more of an uh, more of an over um uh, lob. Feel like that one he should have just tried to get it over and into the box. Feel like that one would have been more better shot to do that one on rather than that shot select shot selection. It's gonna be game. It's gonna be four two lead in this first set. Upper break. Central Catholic seeking to have a season sweep. And it's North Andover. And another first serve miss. That one. Oh, and Luke on his back foot, but still able to get that into the box. And that's going to draw that error. And this is really what Luke's trying to do, get that one final ball over to see if Central Catholic can get that one final error. Been working pretty successfully this match.
with that one on a great return from Central Catholic, really just putting North Andover off balance. But a good, um, great effort in from North Andover trying to get that ball hit by Central Catholic. He actually got that one, just not into, into the court. Good effort, because one day you will be able to get one of those in. Oh, and that one, Luke really not really noticing it, but Central Catholic really just coming up to that net and putting it away without North Andover even noticing it on that one. Looks like we have two sets finished. One in second doubles and one in thirds. First, first uh, second singles and third singles. Sorry, don't have my word choice today. That one, that one looking like that one's gonna be out, I feel like, on this one. And Central Catholic really looking for the back of the line, really having very little margin. And the vice for that would be maybe opening up the margin a bit. on that one, just sailing along on that one. Just really trying to put too much force on these balls and not giving himself enough margin on that one. More like on all the balls, he really needs to get more margin on them. Oh, that one there, a costly double fall from Blue Cromos. Looks like no one's not getting in so well for North Andalus, because if he loses this game, he's down a double break, and uh, Central Catholic will be serving for the set. Now we're going to be sailing well out. We see quite a few errors on that back end. Looks like that's not really one of the strengths. It's, they had the switching sides. I mean, that one's going to be 5 2 lead for Central Catholic. As last time, Luke almost was able to pull off the victory in so much of a scenario like this, but just colder. But also, that one had to go to a match tiebreak. 5 2 Central Catholic. First up. That one's going to be another first serve that's going to be landing out. Quite a few very low percentages on these first serves from both teams. Oh, and on that one, Luke's really able to be keeping uh, Central Catholic on their back foot, just forcing these short balls. And Luke really forcing... Central Catholic to really take these tough shots with 
with unhigh probability shot. Plus 15. Oh, on that first shot, it looked like he learned his lesson. I just got too powerful on that one. And on the second shot, it kind of slipped out of his mind. And that one, he's going to be pushing that one way long. Let's back to the fence. That one's going to be out. That one's gonna be oh, what an errors from both teams, including missed for service. And I feel like that's really one thing that everybody's really lacking in this game. It's not really one player; it's both players actually. The good thing is second shot percentage is good. That one's another missed for serve. Oh, and that one, roll set up serve, really drawing him out wide on that serve, which really opens up that down the line shot, and really having to trust that he would hit that one. I felt like it would have been better for like a better closing shot if that one had been like actually a down the line return, seeing how he could hit that one cross court out of the court. But good shot. 40 30 set point. That one really trying to close that one off fashion, trying to go with good serve and good serve involved. Uh, unable to convert that. Second serve. Oh, and that one. Central Catholic will be finishing that one off the winner and as we're gonna get North Andover's player's mom an interview. See how this one goes. Hello, how do you feel like your son has been playing this set? What was that? How do you feel like your son has been playing this set? Well, he's my grandson, but thank you for thinking he's my son. He's doing pretty well. Um, unfortunately, he lost the first set, but I thought Luke had a few good shots in there. How do you think your son will, or your grandson will do in the next two sets? I don't know. Central Catholic's a tough one to beat. Yeah. And just one for the NACAM. How, how much is, do you think are you going to go back and look at these videos and send them to your family? How am I? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I really don't know. Uh, maybe I would like to show them to my husband. He's home and he couldn't make it. That's a great idea. Thank you for the interview. Oh, you're welcome. That one. Looks like we're going to be starting the second set. Central Catholic, if you're just joining us, Central Catholic just took the first set 6 2. And there's another one of those missed first serves. Really changing factor in this game. Oh, and that one was a good shot. That one right in the right place and right when he needed to do that one. Sets up that great winner. Glove 15. That one just helped. But a great idea on that serve. Almost got that one in. Oh, and 
Um, great passing shot by Luke Ramos of North Andover. He really just staying in that point, not letting any of those fast balls really disturb him. Just staying in the groove and getting those balls back in. Really sets up that opportunity for, to get that point. 15 all. Two well-placed forehands in that rally really give, are giving Central Catholic, Catholic the advantage on, in the second set. Just starting, but really, Central Catholic really stepping up their game, not letting any loose balls that they should have gone go by. 15-30, a real chance for Central Catholic to solidify this lead, get a break to start second set. Now when clips of net and goes in, so it'll be a first serve. Oh, and that one looks like he doesn't he didn't really hit that ball in the sweet spot. That one's gonna be landing out and that's gonna be dirty all. But still a good old chance that he can make these next two points and start off with a good old no. Oh and a great save out why? And using that but he, on that one, I really think he should have started to come in on that one. Because that return on that fast of a serve isn't going to come back that deep. Come in, you can close off that point faster than they even started. 40-30. Another one of those battling miss first serves. Barely hitting the net. Oh, and that one's a long rally. But Central Catholic really wanting to make uh, North Andover run, but that one, he just a little too ambitious on that one. Didn't go really for that line. And on a slow shot like that, wind really pushes it a lot. And unlucky for him, the wind just started to pick up. And that one will carry that one out. One love. And North Andover to start the second set. On set. Love one. As we see, Central Castle will start serving. Mm. Looks like we'll start off the set serving on a good, so good of a no. That one sitting at the top of the net. That one was the perfect shot to go down the line for Luke Ramos. He could have taken that point. Doesn't really matter anyways, because that area comes up from Central Catholic will get with Luke Ramos the point. As we see the wind really picking up, the normal sl slow shots with serves or high position shot can't be hit slow anymore because the wind will be carrying them out. Oh, and that 
one great shot down the line, but just a little too short. But it's for the greater good. So that one clips the net and great just goes over, giving Lou Grounds no chance to come and catch up to that ball. That one goes out and he only hits the camera on that one. Oh, on that one, he's kind of waiting a bit too much for that one. That one, it's not time to play. That one will give Central Castle the point. Still serving Central Castle. That one should have been an out wide too, and that one within was leaning inwards. And that one would be out. One man too much, but still he was able to get that surf in, which is the really great part that both teams really need to be starting to pick up, getting this foot serve percentage up. And that one's a clear example of why. So when you get these first serves off, there's really not too much of a chance that you can get a good clean winner off of those. Those one, those winners were probably just coming from s sometimes a little bit of luck or some missing of the other opponent. Oh. And that one was trying to pull off a drop shot, but unlike Carlos Atlas, it was a bit too deep. And Luke still thinking he was coming to the net, still draws the error. Doesn't really draw it, but another error here from Central Catholic. Really trying to go for the line. I said that how the wind's picking up. That one's just not completely so, but not here with enough force. Enough force to get that one where I needed it to go. Oh, and another first that miss I was about to say. But then you wanna know what happened? He misses the overhead. And that's gonna be happening right around the 55th minute of this recording. Really great job. Just staying in that point. Oh, and that one. Really not able to capitalize on that. A uh, great miss hit return back in that area. We're not able to capitalize on that one. I think I'll go back to Deuce. That one close to his body, not really able to get much power on that one. But still another error from Central Catholic. Too many errors, all of them st stacking up top of each other. Really could almost be a set of full errors for one player if you combine both of the errors, I think. I think it's going to be advantage for Luke, big point. North Andover, going to be a first serve. Because that one hit the net and it went back in. I'm not sure why, but Luke will get, be getting the early break, I think. I think it's because of this one thing. Some re for some reason, Luke Ramos is always hitting, almost always hitting cross court. Not sure what good that's really doing, but it seems like the main changer in this one. I'm not sure why it's actually working, though. Someone is actually managing to work. It's giving him points, and this one will be starting off on a good note. Two love lead for North Andover. Let's see if he'll be able to capitalize on this lead and take a win and take this to a deciding set. I think it might be a deciding tiebreaker. That one be just right. Oh, 
Oh, that one's gonna be lofted again. That one's gonna be just a tad bit out of a lot of the errors from both players, as I repeatedly stating. And I'm doing this on purpose because it's really one thing they both really need to work on. Get great overall tennis players. That one might have looked a bit out, but call it in. On good shop from uh, from Central Catholic. That one's really set up by a short ball. Not really doing anything. That was really just hit with no purpose. No like reason to be there. Just get it over. And sometimes it's good to do those type of shots, but sometimes it's not. Like one of those times right now. And when he really starts going for a serve. Still another miss though. Oh, and that one's going to be a costly double fault. And Luke Ramos still unable to bring some f first serve completion on this one. That one's just going to be a bit out. Looks like he's going to be giving up that break maybe a bit too soon. Looks like it's going to be 1-2. Central Catholic on serve. Still has the upper hand having one set, but still on serve the second one. One, two. As wind really picking up here also. Stay that once, but really picking up. Oh, oh, and that one looks like it's gonna be out. But really one big mistake from Central Catholic on that point. Cause they're literally just feeding that one back into the middle, which isn't really what you wanna do on that one. Cause that's when you have the up hand, you really have to capitalize on that. 15 love, 10 serve. A great shot to open up the court from Luke Ramos. One thing I'm seeing from mostly North Andrew with some partly from Central Catholic was not aren't kind of hitting enough shots flat because on some of them there's some shots that you need to hit flat, some shots you need to hit with topspin. Like one, ones when you're trying to finish out the point with a flat, ones when you're just rallying, those ones are going to be topspin. And two good shots then for most players. It's going to even out the point. Oh, and a great shot by Luke Ramos taking Central Catholic off the court and able there to close it off. That one, one thing I'm really noticing throughout this whole match, it's also happened last time, that well, the play kind of neutralizes after somebody hits one high ball and the other p opponent's hitting it at, at the baseline. It really neutralizes. See if he high balls that one. Oh, and that one. 
gonna be low and forcing Central Catholic to chop at that one. Chopping it is leading that one it's out wide with that motion coming out wide. Looks like that one's not gonna be good for Central Catholic. You can definitely hear the wind from the mic as I can hear it through my headphones, which are kind of c connected to the mic's noise. So, really wind picking up here. That one's gonna be out. A little back, a little back. It needs a bit more bring down spin on that one. Oh, he gets that one back in, but just a tad bit closer to the net. I don't think this is game yet, though, but that's still a good thing for North Andover, being able to get those balls back. One of the things I'd advise North Andover not to do would be bring Central Catholic to the net, seeing as they have a good net game. As also one reason you shouldn't. Oh, and our match result is in. Number two singles player of North Andover has reportedly lost his match against Central Catholic. So Central Catholic's counter is now up one to zero. Really need to step up for some of the other boys on the team. At least three wins are needed, are required in order to win the whole match. If you guys are new to high school tennis, and the seven players that actually count, and there's two doubles, which is a team of two playing against a team of two, and there's three singles, which is one against one. Each thing counts, match counts at the same point values which is, would be one regardless of how many players are playing on the court that one's going to be another one that's driven out really not looking too good here for north and we're having that lead at one point too lovely but still not able to capitalize on it now that one might have been a foot fault oh and a great shot that's what you need to do in those overheads. Lead them backwards. Then it's still a shot and then you can take advantage of the point. That one caught the outside of the line, but then that one, he drives that too much with his body out to the other side. That one's gonna be drawn out. It's gonna be pointing to North Andover. One thing I kind of noticed is that in some points of this match, some of them are just regularly casually hitting and then like, not doing too well on those points, really giving the opponent a chance to capitalize on those slow shots. And we have another result coming in. I'm not sure who won on this one, but singles number three has finished, and I might want to get an interview this game. Our first serve going to be in. That's a great opportunity for Central Catholic to capitalize. That one's going to be out. That one's so many errors from that one shot on the back end. Not too many, as you might be looking at the stats, really counting them. But if you put them into proportion of how much backhands he actually hits compared to slices, and how many forehands he actually hits, not slices, it's a big difference. Oh, and that one's another backspin. That one's going to go out. It's a bit long and we got some sweat from both players. Sweating and grinding, really trying to take this one, representing the school and the town. Looks like Tony has finished and Matt Monserti has finished. And maybe I can get an interview with Tony. If he comes over here, that's a different Oh yeah, he is. And as we're getting an interview with number three singles, Tanae James, how do you feel like your performance was on this match today? Um, <clears throat> good. Okay, so what, what is one area that you think you should really work on? Um, winning. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a good <laughs> most piece. And which thing do you think was like one of your best shots or like one of your best thing attributes throughout the whole match? My shot placement. Yeah, that's a real 
big time changing in match because if you have you can make the shots but don't place them well you're not gonna win the match thank you for your interview and spending your time with us i hope you have a great day thank you that's also a captain he really says analyzing what he said he said he should think about winning more which not a good thing to think about now back to this game Now the well on this first serve. Many three so far in this match, if I have counts correct. If somebody wants to go check and you guys could go put it down in the comments for all us other viewers. Oh and another costly double fault on that serve from Luke Ramos. Not really able to do too much with his serve today. He needs to be focusing on his return game right now. The sitting game isn't too, going too well. Oh, and a great shot. A winner from Luke Ronworth. He's really pulling them across the court. See how he's pulling them to one side using a down the line shot and he's bringing them really off the course so even if they get it they can't even run back to the court by the time it's double bounced great job by luke ramos oh and a great shot really opens off that right corner of the court Trying to use a technique that's really using the law of motion from Newton. If you guys played attention to science class, you would know that one of his laws are something that's in motion always stays in motion until a force goes against it. Which is really what he was trying to do there. Central Catholic running to one side, if he hits the other side, it's going to be hard for him to return that ball. Good job. It's going to be 3-2, two, 2-3. Two, three. Sure you have the lead at this point. It's going to be 2 3 on serve. Central Catholic versus North Andover. North Andover, if you guys can see the scorecard, North Andover is red and Central Catholic is black. That one's going to be a, another double fall. I think it's going to be for the second for Central Catholic, and that's going to be another double fall. And it's going to put him in a hole really right away, which is really why you don't want to double fall in the first couple of points of a service game. It really puts you in a hole to start with. Love 15. that error at the net really not coming in too well for Luke Ramos on that point. That one's well out. Fifteen all. And another score is not officially in, but the match has finished. Number two doubles of the varsity team has officially finished. Not, we're still waiting. We've won that match. As it doesn't look too good for North Andover. Because this match will be the deciding match. Seeing that 
number two singles and number three sing singles has not won. So he must win at least three matches to win, definitely. And now one more match win for Central Catholic will be game. Got one right on the line. Oh, and that one's another one of those areas I've been talking about. Really coming up at places you don't really want those areas to come up. It's really any time, but sometimes coming off points that matter most, like break point or deuce. A great passing shot on that one. Just want to bring Central Catholic to the net and finishing it off there. That's really where most of the Central Catholic's points coming from. They capitalizing that net. And I think once it has finished in second doubles, and that one's not going to go too well for Central Catholic. That one's going to be out. I'm not, not in second double. My first double was just dead. Oh, he's hitting. Lots of balls are being hit on the back foot of the players. You're only hitting the balls up high, so it's harder for them to hit in the comfortable strike shot. But both players are still comfortably hitting the ball. That one, not a net clearance on that one. You know how early I said that one? When you're f trying to finish off, the point should be flat. That one, not so much, because that one, you're close to the net. And <coughs> when you hit it, it's going on a direct pattern. So you really need a toss spin to bring it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the first double of what is just in, it's going to be a final set tiebreaker. Let's see if North Andover can maybe come back, get a match. Oh, and he f any frames that still staying in there. That one was, if that one wasn't a frame, that one would have been a sure point for Central Catholic. Just staying in there, keeping that one more extra ball, one more possibility to hit an error. And as we're getting an exclusive interview with number two doubles of the varsity team. How do you think you guys performed today? Uh, we played pretty good. The serving could have gone better, but overall we played well. What do you guys think one of your strengths for this game was worth? Uh, our volleys, I'd say. We were pretty good up at net. Yeah, that's also something I'm seeing in this match. The volleys are really mattering, and being able to close off those points fast and short is good. Thanks for your interviewing time. Anytime. Are we on camera? No, no, no. just audio. So Suos, how do you think you played? I think I played pretty well. You know, b better than I've I have all season, but more and more improvement to be done. That's a great, that's a great notice. Seeing how you've improved since the start of the season, which it's kind of how this is about. You really want to improve, so next season you can play even better. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Let's see if this first serve goes in, which is really one thing that really needs to be worked on. That one's also going to be a bit far, big back. More top spin on this serve. Oh, and that one's going to be a bit out, a bit long, a bit to the right, a bit to the left, my angle actually. And your angle. Their second set is really close. That one's going to be long again. And that one's going to be out also. It's going to get a match tie break in the first doubles, as I said again. It's going to be one of the crucial matches. 
seeing how this is already finished, it'd be good for North Dana to get an improvement from the both of these matches, get an improvement results since last time, only winning one match last time. Hopefully, chance to get two. Not exactly a win, but still improving. That one's also gonna be out to the right. There's been many, many errors from Central Catholic hitting cross court. Well, the percentage of errors coming from that shot was North and where the percentage is relatively low. Because they're, they're hitting cross court a lot. And that one's gonna be a lucky lap. It'll be good. He only gets that one back in, but he could. So he only lots of split steps from North and really getting ready for these shots. He hear the squeaking of the shoes on the court. Oh, great first, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, great for serve, just, I don't have done with that one at the net. It needs to be powerful. More direct stroke on that one. This one maybe should have been down the line using one of that spinny shots that he makes, and that's still not going to be a bad score. Seeing how we are still up our game on serve, though, really needs to take this match to a match tiebreaker if he wants to show that he's seen some improvement. Last time, four-two, our uh, six-two was the previous set for his first set's result. So if he can maybe w make it a win, but like a better, more comfortable win on this one, a definite sign of improvement. Oh! I think that one's gonna be out. Really hitting the corners of both players. Really hitting the corner and seeing off that return. Luke Ramos is really able to start the point off on positive boost. Really easy to finish the point off from there. Love the team. Oh, and that one's going to be bit too long again, and this isn't good for Central Catholic. Big hole here, love 30. If he loses this game, Luke Ramos, with his second save, will be able to see if he can close off the set and send this to a match tiebreaker. It's gonna be out, second serve, love 30. Not a good position to be in. Pressure almost got to him on that one. And it looks like it did. Not hitting that one, it was enough topspin. This one's gonna be long out. That's gonna set up triple three break points for Luke Ramos. And able an ability now to serve for the set. Really something he wants to do. Since he, if he is serving, you have the real control over the point. And then he could send it to some match tiebreaker to get another one against Central Catholic. Did he call that in? No way, he called that one in. That was out by long, but I'm not really complaining here because I'm the North End of a guy. Great job by Luke Ron was e easily able to breeze through that game and get the break to serve for the set. Second serve. That's gonna be in double fall. Not really too costly at that time. 
uh, starting that mm, service game off with a bad note really is what you want to do. Situation serving for the set, but the pressure builds up in the atmosphere. Level 15. That one's, that one's gonna be his third consecutive outside. That one just. I thought that one caught a lie, not gonna lie. But looks like that one's gonna recall that one. That's gonna be his fourth consecutive missed serve for North Andover. Finally gets this one in. At that time, already in a big hole, but he's one step closer to climbing out of it. 15.30. Big first serve here would be really nice. That one really not too big. He closes in on that. That's out. And really, using a bit. Uh, Central Catholic not taking advantage of that return. Which is really pretty softly here. That's really one you should capitalize on. Seeing at least capitalize on bigger shots and like more powerful shots. Surprised he didn't capitalize on that one. That just brings it to even ground. One mistake, now even ground. Pass. He has to hit that one earlier. Oh, but still able to get that one after making that one mistake. He's a good of a player here. He can still make mistakes during that same point and still be able to get the point off that one. 40, 30. Looks like that's set. Oh, I thought he had it there. Still deals. Still, he still it's not like that was break point. So has a chance to close it off. But he has to win these next two points. Really, on have that solid chance. That one's out because of that wind. That soft to serve really isn't going to be productive here. Soft hit. I think he learned his lesson. But he doesn't go for it on that one. He hits that one high, and that one's going to be out. It's going to be a break point for Central Catholic to get it back on serve. So play dude ain't looking too good, seeing how they lost last past two service games, I think. Oh, and the first doubles is actually done right now. And this is the last varsity match we finish. Second serve on a break point. But Central Catholic, that's not the shot you want to make the error on. When you really have that upper hand advantage, they hit those flat, direct, down the line shots on that serve. Especially on that one, that one wasn't the fastest second serve in the world. So that's a really chance to take advantage of that one. And that one looks like I think that one caught the back of the line and that one's gonna be a net into the net for Luke Ramos and looks like suddenly in another hole here and to face a second break point to service game. I'm not sure if he called that one in or not. In or out, but it's in. I'm not sure which I probably called it out because he's not no probably called it in because he's not going for it too much. that one moving. Moves the chains after they've been rusted for some time. He really hits that one down the line. Lightens the move and he's able to bring this one back to Deuce. Third Deuce the service game. Really wants an opportunity to finish the set off on his serve on comfortable notes. Good serve there. Oh, and that one's in. The one thing I think that could improve Luke Ramos' game is that with his backhand, he hits a good serve, hits a great forehand, he hits a lot of great shots. But then once he hits the backhand, it's almost always neutral though. When he hits like a full backhand swing, not a slice backhand. Oh, another good serve there. Oh, that one 
Hit the net, that's gonna be a lot, I think. Yeah, it's a bar. I want to play him. Oh, but he's not able to take advantage. Get him these breaks back. That's why it's really on serve here. Multiple breaks. And as we got our first win, I think, we're going to have an interview with number one singles. How do you think you guys performed well t uh, today? We played pretty well. We lost that first set. Um, but then we brought back. Yeah, that's a good note. Always trying to fight back, these two. And now Alex comes to join us. What do you guys think you two did well this game? Oh, I think I think something that we really like uh, did well. Me personally, I think I did um, a lot of aggression at net. I, I really that's where I think our comeback came from. Uh, half half of it, at least my part, uh, came from the net. Uh, I think like we talked about on um, on Friday, we just wanted I just wanted to be more dependable. Um, I think we accomplished that. We limited our own forced errors. Um, we brought it back. Yeah, I know both of you guys are really superstars at net. So, other than that, what do you think is one thing you guys really need to improve on? Um, one thing I need to improve on, um, probably uh, backhand reliability, I think. That was one thing. I, I think it was good, this game, but I think it could obviously be better. So, that's something I want to work on soon. So what do you think? What was the question? <laughs> what do you think you can improve on? Um, I think we have to get better at breaking serves. There's only two serves, two service games broken that entire match. Um, and, those, and the first one decided the first set, second one decided the second set. I think if we broke more of their serves, it would have been a shorter and easier match. Thank you for you guys' time for the interview, and hope you guys have a great day. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And now back to this match. Oh, great save, but he, he stays in, but Ads looks out. Nice job, Luke. And he nice, stays Luke. in there. Luke Ramos staying in there every single point of this match. Doesn't care if he's not going to win the point. He still stays in there and able to pull off the accomplishment on that point. Shot on that one from Luke. And that nice one's gonna nice be out. Go. Looks like. We should put in home advantage. Looks right one. Yeah, we need home team advantage, guys. What are you guys doing? You guys need a cheer. Yeah, you guys need a cheer. Will do. Mahadevan. Caught, that'll be a touchdown. Touchback. Oh, and that one's a throw one, but he makes another mistake on that one. And we got a ball chucked back in there. Go Knights. Go Knights. How long's even advantage? Well, man, Tom swings. Set point. Shouldn't be fearless. Shouldn't be f have fear on this one. That one clutches the line. Oh, he tries another overhead, but he's not trying to do anything much on that one. It's gonna be another one into the net. So many errors in this match. It's really one thing they all need to work on. Great serve. 
Just land sit. See? Those high balls always neutralize the coin. Oh, he grabs it! Ow! That's out! That's it! We are going to a deciding match tiebreaker to decide who will win this match. North Andover get an improvement from last time. And can Luke Ramos get an improvement from last time? Last time he also won this deciding tiebreaker. But he gets an even better score. It'll be better. More improvement. To your advantage, kids. Love one, not and over. Gonna be just a bit back. That one's gonna be a week. That one's gonna be a week. Return back. He misses that one. Good one for Luke. One all. Oh, and that one's just going to be on the outside, right side. One, two. Great one by Luke. It's dead silent here. All you can hear is the tennis talking. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Two all. North Andover. That was not time to go baby on this one. He got it! Oh. That's all. That's the thing go to the side. Can I beat one midi breaker for the Central Catholic? Three, two.
second save. Oh, and that one's going to be flames. We'll choose Central Catholic. Before two, when the switching sides, now we got Central Catholic on the closer side, and now we're gonna have North Handle on the further side. Four two. Hey, why is he? Hey, why is he still there? Gonna be one minute break. Still up for you guys who are just joining us. One minute break to Central Catholic. And it'll be 6 2 to Central Catholic in the first set. And then Luke Ramos with a couple clutch points at the end will take the second set 6 4 to North Andover. That one's gonna be just back. Second serve. That's out, nice and Mini Blake is back. Three, four. That's gonna be a let first save. On serve. Out. Yeah, Luke. Yeah. Four five. five four five. North Ando is up. And this final deciding tiebreaker. Match tie waker. North End was gonna be up by mini break. Four six. Oh, a great shot oh, by Central Catholic on that one. He'll keep it with a one minute by Greece of, of North Andover, and it's gonna be six five to North Andover. Switching one point. Shot from 
Central Catholic you put it back on to six all. Final decided set tiebreaker. Is it is this like a first to seven one by two tiebreaker? This is first to ten tiebreaker. So it's gonna be longer than usual if you guys noticing it. So, really, everybody's afraid to take that one powerful swing because they don't want to lose this point. I feel like the return should go like a bit more aggressive because only if they're down a mini break, they shouldn't. But if you're perfectly on server up, you might as well go for it and try to get up. Six, seven. Oh, and a great shot. Central Catholic, and that's going to be seven all. picking up. Oh, and he keeps that one down. Great shot. I look almost on that one, keeping that one down. That's going to be 8-7. Two points here will give him the win. Two points there will give him the loss. Actually, three points. Just a tad bit out. On the other hand, it looks like it's gonna be it all. On serve now. That's going down the line. It's going down. Oh dear. They're all just hitting the high here. Everybody's afraid to take a good shot. Oh, and he misses that one. It's going to be match point towards Central Catholic. Coming up right now with a 9-8 lead. And now they'll be switching after this point. Maybe they don't need to. See if Central Catholic can be able to close this one off. Smash that arrow is gonna come in a cockley's point. Let me now all now we got Central Catholic on the closer side, and it's gonna be North Andover on the further side. Let's see who can close this one out. Nine all. Yeah, it's gonna be one by two. So if anybody here right now wins two points in a row, it's gonna be game. As we see Central Catholic serving. I know. That's out. A 
great, great passing shot by Central Catholic, and that's gonna put him up match point. But now, pressure's on the server to be able to stay in this match for what they've been working on for the past hour and 45 minutes. Just hitting it lightly here. Oh, yeah. Catholic. Central Catholic hitting that one off the frame. And that one's also going to be another error added to his count. Another one at a costly time. 10 10. Oh, and that one's going to be an error. And now, match point. North Andover. And now the pressure's on Central Catholic. A little de devastating loss, seeing how they had two match points last couple minutes. That's gonna hit the net go long. Is that the one they've been out there for a year? Come on, be aggressive. Classic miss at net. Happens tons of times, but on those ones, you really have to think about it. Don't go for fanciness or anything. Just really think about it. Get, try and get the job done. 11 all. going to be hitting the rim. One point before they switch. It might not have to be switching anyways because if Central wins this point, it's going to be game. 11-12. Oh, he does go for it. Not expecting him to go for that. See how he's Gone for anything this whole time breaker. I mean, switching sides is gonna be necessary. It's gonna be 12 all. Twelve all. That one be kicked in the back of the line. That one's a floater, floats in the wind. Tap that one. Oh, yes! And big applause from the north end of the end of the court. It's gonna be 12 to 13. If north end could potentially come out with this point, they'll come out with the game. 12, 13, match point. That's gonna be out. Second serve. Oh, it's gonna be win to the North Andover High School. And thank you all for watching. This is yours truly, a DT Mahadevan, and see you on the next one.